Water conservation remains top priority. New initiatives for affordable housing and Tobago hosts national tripartite consultation. Info update. Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews, reviews. Along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. This dry season, water conservation remains a top priority for many authorities on the island. This is why greater focus has been placed on the situation. Omadara Mills has more. While Tobago has been urged to reduce its water usage to ensure the island has a consistent supply, the Secretary for Agriculture, Marine Affairs, Marketing and the Environment, Godwin Adams, says the THA must also follow suit. It's everybody's business to conserve water. And uh, we cannot be on one hand asking to conserve water. On the other hand, we are about, you know, using water to do things like um, the washing of um, or the cleaning of, of hard courts. Mr. Adams says the Division of Education, Youth Affairs and Sport will be significantly affected. The division is responsible for preparing cricket grounds and pitches, which need consistent watering when being prepared. We have to adhere to the cry of conservation of water. So generally, things that would have happened um, when, they were, when there is um, adequate water supply cannot be done at this moment. The secretary is asking the public to bear with the authorities while they prioritize water usage across the island, even as efforts are being made to create a more reliable water supply. I'm Omadara Mills for Info Update. New initiatives are being considered to minimize the cost of subsidizing public housing. Josan Brassi has the details. Secretary for Division of Settlements and Labor, Mr. Dean Isaac, says the Tobago House of Assembly cannot continue to pay the high subsidies for public housing on the island. The subsidy is between 40 to 60 percent. Isaac says the THA is considering solutions. We are seriously looking at starter units where individuals will be able to access those units and then you can add to the units to your benefit or to your liking. Construction on the first starter home was expected to commence on Saturday. It's expected to be used as a model for future public housing. Very soon we'll be issuing RFPs, requests for proposals, to private companies for them to respond to their ability and capacity to be able to construct houses and partner with the Tobago House of Assembly. The Secretary says the Assembly is also prepared to construct affordable housing on a few available greenfield sites. I'm Josanne Brassi for Info Update. The Industrial Relations Act is under review. Tobago stakeholders had a chance to have their say during last week's consultations. Caroline Wallace brings us this report. The National Tripartite Consultation, hosted at the Magdalena Grand Beach and Golf Resort last Friday, gave the private sector a chance to make valuable contributions on the amendment of the 50-year-old Industrial Relations Act, Chapter 88.01. Acting Chief Administrator of the Tobago House of Assembly, Mrs. Claire Davidson-Williams, says Tobago's input is an important part of the process. I therefore encourage all of us to share our spirited contributions to ensure that this industrial relation led regulations that we are trying to adjust today embraces differences in diversity and differences in our way of life, in our work environment, and safeguard against discrimination. Secretary of the Division of Settlements and Labor, Mr. Dion Isaac, says a large component of this initiative is developing human capital. Human capital development is one of the main elements in building a sustainable labor force and also growing the skills bank within the island. I'm Caroline Wallace for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Davia Chambers and you've been listening to Info Update.